So a charge of plus 0.2 millicoulombs is located at 40 meters, and a charge of negative 0.5 millicoulombs is located at uh, negative uh, 30 meters. Okay, that's, that's my first problem. So now I can say A Uh, where is the potential, where is the V total zero, equal to zero, on the X or Y axis? What is the total potential at one five, at the point one five meters? So I'm going to ask a bunch of questions so that we can practice the things that we learned. C, what is the potential energy of this system? Okay, so if you let go of them, what will happen? What is their final velocity? Assume they both have a mass of 5 milligrams and size of, of mm, let's say, Okay, so how much work is needed to bring a third charge from infinity to the origin at constant speed? Okay, that's good enough. So we'll practice all of these things that we're learning. So the picture looks like this. On uh, four zero. plus 
0.2 millicoulombs uh, plus 0.2 millicoulombs. And negative 5 okay so negative 0.5 millicoulombs so uh, where's the total potential zero on the x or y axis so let's do the x axis let's see is there any point here where the total potential is zero um, so let's just choose a general point x0, for example, and let's see where is it zero. This is similar to the question that I asked in chapter 23, where I, where I gave you two charges, and I said, where along the x-axis is the electric field zero? You see? Um, so this is similar. Remember, to find the total V is easier because you don't have direction. You don't have to argue, oh, it's to the right or it's to the left. It's just the number. So it's, we can just simply add the potential due to this and to that. So K Q1 R1 plus K Q2 over R2. We can factor out the 9 times 10 to the 9th. And uh, we have uh, Q1. Uh, this one, uh, point, positive 0 0.2 millicoulombs, so that's 10 to the minus 3, divided by its distance, which is x minus, uh, what point is this? 4, 0, negative 3, 0, right? So x minus 4, it's going to be, okay? And then the q2 is the charge of the other one. x minus negative 3. So that's the total uh, v. And we want the total v to be 0. OK, so we're going to get uh, 10 to the minus 3 is going to factor out. So we're going to get uh, 9 times, uh, well, we could do like this. Uh, we could call this 10 to the minus 4 and the move over the decimal place. So it'll be 10 to the uh, fifth, and it'll be uh, 2 over x minus 4 minus 5 over x plus 3 equal to 0. Well, if it's equal to 0, this thing doesn't even matter. We just got to set this thing equal to 0. So cross multiply, we get uh, 2x plus 6 equals to 5x minus 20. And uh, 3x is equal to uh, 26. And x is equals to 26 over 3, uh, 8. And 2 thirds, uh, 0.67. So it, it, it ended up being over here on this side. Okay, let's see if that makes sense. This one is positive, this one is negative. So if this point is closer to that, the potential created by this is going to be bigger than the potential. Well, I mean, it's not going to be bigger. It's going to be the same. Since I'm closer to this, the potential created by this is going to match the potential created by that. So it makes sense that it's to the right of this, and it's... Uh, it's a positive, so 8.67. However, there should be another point, right? 